Uh, then we go to the chapter four about the prohibition product rules. Uh, for the prohibited products, here is a list. This is a list of the goods that cannot positive, cannot be posted onto AliExpress. So we just keep an eye on this, in this link, and these products such as drugs, the guns, the the, 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 the medical equipment, uh, about the medical equipment. Now it's for the, the coronavirus. Actually, if you have the license, if you have the license, you can post the product onto AliExpress. And then uh, some other uh, products that cannot list onto AliExpress. And uh, if once you post the prohibitions, what's the penalty? The penalty also include serious violation and the general violation. The serious violation is similar to the intellectual property. If your 48 points are deducted clearly that your store is closed. And for the general violations, there are points to deducted and 12 points max a day. So if you have 12 points to deducted, that means your store may be freezing for seven days. And then, what if the product on the audit, but I know that it may be prohibition products. That means you post a listing, and this listing is under audit, under checking of AliExpress platform. But you realize that it is, it might be prohibition products. What shall you do? Here are three rules. Once a product is submitted for review, it cannot be revoked. That means it cannot be deleted. It must be wait until the review is completed and cannot be withdrawn in the middle. And then the second, the audit is spot check. That means not all the products are checked from AliExpress. So even one product is posted into the platform, that's not means it is not prohibition products because it is spot check. And if it is really prohibitions, later the platform will check it out and then your product will be deleted and your account will be points deducted. And then if the audit found your product the prohibition, the points, your score will be deducted. And then how to report others' violation? There are three ways. The first one, the first one, it is in your seller center. There is a violation column. Just click the violation and find the report now. You can report others' violation. This is method one. And method two, just like what I have shown you previously, report in the listing. And then the third method is in the front page of AliExpress. Here is a column, a button of a help. Then you click the dispute and reports to report others' violation. These are three different ways of report others' violation. And then let's go, let's move to the TRO ban. The TRO ban rules. What is TRO? Actually, the TRO is short for temporary restrain order. That means the seller was sued in U.S. court. The U.S. court reviewed the evidence provided by the owner of the trademark and then considered it to be an infringement. And what's the result? What's the, the penalty? It will accept the case and sign a ban order, which initially a temporary ban, and later may evolve into a judgment order. So this is the TRO ban. Actually, the TRO, if you got the email, you got the document of TRO, it's, it's a very headache problem, a very headache issue. And uh, how can seller get TRO information? That means if you are sued by the lawyers of the trademark owner, how can you, where can you get the information? You can get the information by your email. The email is 
in the first chapter, what we create the account, this email. This is the email of you log in AliExpress. This is one way by email. And you can also get the message of AliExpress. This is the second way. And the third, you can also download download the document in this website. And the precondition is that you got this website from your email or from your message of AliExpress and then click the website and to get the TRO ban. This is a, typically a TRO ban paper the document. And what does the TRO require? The TRO will prohibit the sales or promotion of the infringing product. Actually, it's the suspected infringing products. Although it is named suspected infringing product, actually it is 100 percentage infringing. Because if you are not, if you are not infringing their products, they will not hire a lawyer to sue you into the court. And then the TRO will print the third party. That means the platform AliExpress from providing service to you, to the infringer. And then, what is most serious results? The TRO ban will freeze the seller's assets. For example, the money, the value in your PayPal account, in your Alipay account. This is the most terrible thing. And here is an example of the freezing account. If you got the TRO ban today, for example, today, and in your account, in your AliExpress account, for example, they are about 5,000 USD dollars, and then your account, this amount of money will be frozen. Meanwhile, if you have a PayPal account connected into your Alipay account, the money in your PayPal account will also be frozen. So that is terrible. Once your account is frozen, there is another question. What about your, your, your orders that are already paid by bearers and uh, the, the, the extra money is coming into your account? That will be fine. That money is still yours, will not be frozen. So if the TRO ban is come today, it only freeze your money since now, since today. So the future, uh, your account have more uh, deposit, have more money in. This money will not be freeze. So if you have money get frozen, how to get them back? You can only find a lawyer to response. Actually, there are two results. You won or you settle. There are only two ways. But actually, since now, there are seldom, seldom seller can win from the TRO ban. Because almost 100% infringement, and then the brand owner can hire the lawyer, lawyer to sue you into the US court. So what we're going to do is, it's better you find a lawyer to respond, to connect with, contact with their lawyer to have a settlement, to have a settlement of this case. And then they will withdraw the case. And then your Alipay and PayPal account will reopen and the funds can be unfrozen. Of course, you need to pay a settlement fee. You should pay a part of the settlement money. That means, for example, if, if, if you are frozen about 10,000 US dollar, so it's about 5,000 as the settlement money you pay to their lawyer, and then you get a half back. This is the settlement way. This is actually this is the only way that you can get a part of money back. This is what we should respond. Of course, 
at the beginning, we should avoid this kind of infringement to avoid the TRO ban. Because once you are going into this step, it's very headache. And the response, the duration is very long, almost half a year, or more than one year. This is very headache. So don't touch the red line. Don't infringe others' trademark. And then here is a list of high-risk brands. This is the, 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 the DBC lawyers. They complained for these brands. Here is a list. And I will post the list into the Dending Group later after my speech, after my lecture. So you can check it. Whether you have whether you have the brand name here, the first level, also the sub brands. For example, this this brand, these sub brands are not are not famous, but they are also the sub brands of the, 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 the big brand. So don't use this word. Especially if you find this for example, this words. It's very hot searching, it's, it's, it's very hot selling, but don't use it because it's the sub brands of the big brands. I will, I will send you the, the list to avoid the infringement. And also here is an early warning of key brands. This is published by AliExpress. You just need to click this website and to check all the brands that is in the potential vendor. For example, the HD vision, you cannot use this as keyword. The hex bug, you cannot use the word as your keywords. Just remember. Just remember to check this website and to find this brands and avoid using them as keywords. Okay, that's all about the TRO ban. Then we move to the chapter six, the search ranking rules. If we open a store, if we avoid the violations of IP, uh, the prohibition, the TRO ban, then we are safe and we need to re raise our searching rank of our products. So there is the searching rank rules. And this is also the important chapter of this lecture. In the searching rank rules, we need to know the factors that affect searching ranking. That means what we can do to improve our searching ranking. And then we should learn what's the penalty of the searching cheating. The searching ranking opposite is searching cheating. So we should do searching ranking. We cannot do searching cheating, right? Then there are the, the five factors that affect the seller's searching ranking. The quality of the description of the goods, also uh, the information of the listing, the quality of the information of the listing, and then the relevance of the goods and the buyer's needs. What, what does this mean? That means the related of our listing with the buyer's searching need. For example, if they search a dress, they search a cotton dress, they search a red cotton dress, if you are selling this kind of product, is it related to their needs? And do you have these keywords in your listing, in your product? Can they find your listing in the front of AliExpress homepage? And then the third, the conversion, the conversion rate of your product. Actually, this is very important. And then the seller's service ability, or we can see the seller's service score the points. And then also the search cheating behavior is also a factor that affects your ranking. Let's go about the quality of the listing information. How to improve it? It is including the three chapters, the three aspects. The first one, the truthful description of your product. That means you should describe your product, your listing, or coding your product. Because once you have the dispute caused by the first description, that will be serious affect your ranking, and even you will get the penalties. And the second, you should describe your product 
as accurate and complete as possible. The tables can be read the properties, the detailed description, etc. And then, what is important is the high quality picture display. That is, mainly for the six main picture and also the pictures in your detailed description page. It's including the real shooting, the multi-angle, and the key details, the, the, the selling points. So I will give you some example of the perfect description, the perfect uh, picture layout, the standard product. For example, the standard pr product. How can we design the picture of the five, the six, the main, pro the, the main images? We need one eye-catching main image. That means the first image must be eye-catching because it is a key from exposure to clicks. If your product is searched by buyers and they have seen your first picture in the home page, in the front of the home page of AliExpress, what shall we do to let the buyer to click it? To click it? If you click it, then they can go to your listing page, and then is the conversion rate, right? For example, this this form, with the eye catching, is the word shipping 24 hours, and also here is a gift, right? Because for most the sellers, they cannot ship the product within 24 hours. So if you have this text into the picture. Then this is an eye catching. Then the buyer can click it, and then you need a two or three usage same graph. That means usage same or the performance description. For example, the usage same of this cable. They can charge for phone, for MacBook, right altogether. This is the usage same, and also, for example, the internal structure especially for this cable, because the eternal structure can show the quality of your product, right? Or you can give them the cutaway. And then, especially for the ele electricity products, it's better you have a multi-language display, because your bears is from overseas, right? They should know that you have the language in their local. So the multi-language display and also the accessories, etc. So this is a good display of the images. This is for standard products such as the e e e electricity products. And then here is the non-standard products such as the fashion products. And here is the display of the pictures. For example, the main picture to show the selling points of your product. For example, uh, the lowest price, the accessories, the gift, etc. These are selling products, the, the selling points. And then you should be post. You should post the, the model and the same of the usage of this product. And then you should have some more details pictures. Also, it's especially important for the standard products, the color map, uh, the for the fashion product, how many colors you have, you can post them into one picture. And then the package, because for so many the fashion products, it has the attribution, the property of gift. So can you design a better package? Or what if you have some customized the DIY package? For example, you can write the bear's name. For example, this is a gift for the girlfriend. Can you customize the, the their girlfriend's name on the package. This is also the selling points, right? So this is the layout of the pictures. And then the relevance of goose and bear's knees. I have just described what's the relevance with bear's knees. And, and how can we improve it? We need to find more keywords, especially the hot selling and the hot searching keywords, and use them into our title, our properties, our description page. This is the way we increase the relevance 
of our listing with the buyer's needs. We can only do it in this way because the buyer can only search on AliExpress in two ways. The first is the keyword searching, right? And the other is the category searching. But in both the two ways, they will use that keywords, they will use the properties. So if we have all the keywords, all the properties into our listing, then whatever the buyers searching for, our product can be exposed into their eyes. But how can we get the keywords? We can get the keywords, I mean the hot selling and the hot searching keywords and also the property keywords into the business advisor. We can come to our seller center, click business advisor and the second step to the product trains here. In this column, click product trains and then we click best selling product or we can also click most searched for product. For example, we first learn the best selling product and then select the category. Especially, you can select the sub category such as the boxer and then global 30 days and then you can get uh, this, this circles of different keywords. You should know the bigger the circle is, the hot setting of the property is. So you can use this words into your titles, into your descriptions. This is for best selling. You can also for the uh, select for the hot searching. Just click this column to have this words. If we can have this words put into our listing, then our product will be match the requirements of our buyers. And 